All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this toilet paper roll. All right, the question of the day is, how did the toilet paper scandal start in the coronavirus? Today we're going to do a picture of toilet paper. laid out I think um, shape wise proportion wise is pretty correct I just want to kind of maybe outline get a little more paint on the canvas it's really light here with this paint this is pretty good coverage so I'm just gonna redarken this and then maybe add a little bit of highlights to kind of make that blend a little bit better and then we'll see where it goes from here Question of the day is about toilet paper shortage during the coronavirus. As you may know, um, the coronavirus is mostly primary in your lungs, so it kind of causes you, your system to overreact, causes a lot of phlegm in your lungs with the white blood cells, so all the remains of that kind of, your white blood cells fighting coronavirus clogs up your lungs and creates pneumonia. Now in 3% of the cases, it caused diarrhea. Now what we think happened is in Hong Kong, you know, one close to the epicenter of Wuhan, where it originated, Hong Kong, there was kind of a rush on toilet paper. We think what happened was people mistaked the symptoms of coronavirus with um, Novo, Norona virus or Novo virus. And in that particular case, it is predominantly one of the major symptoms of the virus. But in Corona, it's only about 3%. So there's no real reason to stockpile the toilet paper so in hong kong this mistaken identity of mistaking the symptoms of the virus led people to start hoarding um, toilet paper because it's very common in mainland china china during the 70s 80s you know the great leap forward it was very common that you know there was food shortages under communism before they kind of adopted capitalism so when the mainland Ch chinese kind of moved to hong kong they brought that kind of crazy hoarding mentality. So they had actually this gang robbed $600 worth of toilet paper from a store armed robbery, <laughs> which is totally ridiculous. But of course, once the virus hit and the mainland Chinese like fled out of China to escape getting contaminated, right? Obviously who wouldn't? And they fled all over the world, which spread coronavirus, unfortunately. But they also brought kind of this panic hoarding mentality. And so they immediately started going out and buying all the toilet paper. And at first it wasn't too obvious to everyone, but then once people saw like, oh my God, the toilet paper is completely gone, it just caught on naturally as a panic. You know, people are animals. So whenever they see the herd kind of start hoarding, then people, everyone starts hoarding, right? So you have people stockpiling tons of toilet paper. It's completely out of control. Luckily, in my case, um, my wife always keeps about three weeks worth of goods, you know, the dry goods and toilet paper and paper towels. So we really only got one extra roll of toilet paper. So we probably have like a two month supply. So that's plenty, but we'll definitely use it. But there's other people that went just crazy and they bought like 10, 12 cases of toilet paper, which is horrible because like the medical staff, they were working these crazy hours, obviously to contain coronavirus. And those people were left without any supplies once they got home to go food shopping. They didn't have the toilet paper was running out, the paper towels were running out, their dry goods. Obviously millennials, they were kind of 
young and weren't used to stockpiling goods because they'd grown up under a very plentiful, they'd never really seen recession in their lifetime that was really drastic that caused shortages, which is very uncommon in a capitalist society when it's very capitalistic. And so this Charlie just, you know, steamrolled and became a worldwide epidemic of lack of shortage paper. And that's the question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So you have this nice kind of pink background. Uh, we have the toilet pole sitting there, kind of that clear line to kind of define the toilet paper. A little bit of shadow from the toilet paper and also a shadow below. Basically, it's a pretty simple shape to paint. Um, I was gonna add originally kind of texture of the toilet paper so you knew it's kind of like dainty or whatever, but I don't think you need it in this case. It's just, um, I think it's gonna be pretty obvious. Uh, you could add more, but I think it's just a really simple shape. I wanna keep it nice and simple um, and get to the humor of the piece if there's humor. <laughs> Some people aren't gonna find it funny when they don't have bog roll or toilet paper, but uh, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna subscribe, you can subscribe below. And check out my Patreon account for the long version. See you later, guys. Mm -hmm.